Welcome today to our video devotionals. This is Thursday, October the 12th, 2017. What a wonderful day to follow hard after Jesus. We are looking at Psalms 119, 139, where David says, My zeal has consumed me because my enemies have forgotten your words. So we hear this, we need to define zeal, I think, today. Zeal is the heat or tension of affections. It is fervor and enthusiasm in intensity. In the treasury of David, Richard Greenham makes some interesting observations. I quote, My zeal hath consumed me. There are diverse kinds of, of zeal. There is the seal of the world. There's the zeal of the flesh. There's the zeal of religion. There's the zeal of heresy. And there's the zeal of true God. First we see the zeal of the world maketh men to labor day and night to get a transitory thing. There's the zeal of flesh. It torments my mind early and late for momentary pleasure. The zeal of heresy makes travel and compass sea and land for the maintaining and increasing of opinion. Thus we see every man is eaten up with some kind of zeal. The, the drunkard is consumed with drunkenness. The whoremonger is spent with his whoredom. The heretic is eaten with heresies. Oh, how ought this to ashamed who are so little eaten, spent, and consumed with the zeal of the world. And so much the rather because godly zeal leaveth us in us advantage and a recompense, which the worldly and carnally zealous have not. For when they have spent all the strength of their bodies, powers of their minds, they have no gain or comfort left, but torment conscience. And when they are outwardly spent, they were inwardly never better, whereas the godly, being concerned for a good thing and eaten with this zeal of, of God's glory, have this notable privilege and profit. However, howsoever their outward man perisheth and decayeth, yet their inward is still refreshed and nourished to everlasting life. Oh, what a benefit to be eaten up with the love and zeal of a good thing. End of quote. I believe that David is burning with even more spiritual zeal because his enemies have forgotten your words. I see David running at Goliath after Goliath has said, am I a dog that you come to me with sticks? David replies, I come to you in the name of the Lord of hosts, the God of the armies of Israel, whom you have defiled. This day the Lord will deliver you into my hand and I will strike and take your head from you. When our zeal is stirred and we are consumed with all our affections for God, something in us will not permit others to continue to disparage our God. My, have the times changed. We no longer have the fire for God we once had. Though our enemies curse God, and fan into flame a hatred for the Lord God Almighty. We have cowered like most of Israel when Goliath appeared. May God raise up another young man in the nation of America to stand up against the Goliaths of our land. Or may he raise up an 85-year-old man like Caleb to turn the tide. I want to ask you today, has God's zeal consumed you? Is there a fire? burning in your bones and you cannot be silent. May we tarry at the tabernacle door like Joshua until the flame is kindled again and our hearts are on fire for God. Oh Lord, do that work in me. Start that work in me. I pray, oh God, the fire of your word, the fire of your life, the flames of almighty God burn in me, the zeal for the Lord be all over me. And I pray it over all who watch this devotional today, for the name of Christ's sake, amen. Let God's zeal burn new in you. Be blessed. God loves you. He's on your side as you battle for him in this evil world.